गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर मैथमेटिक्स क्लास फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ योर चैप्टर टू पॉलानोमियल एंड दिस इज द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ लेक्चर टू इन लेक्चर टू वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट जीरोज ऑफ द पॉलानोमियल एंड रिमाइंडर थ्योरम and how we uh, will find the values of the polynomial at the given number so first of all from your exercise 2.2 first question is find the given value find the value of given polynomial at x is equal 0 as x equal 0 and the given polynomial is 5x minus 4x square plus 3 for finding the value first of all we have to replace x in the given polynomial with 0 so we replace x here also and this question also so when we multiply 5 with 0 then it becomes 0 and then square of 0 is also 0 and multiply with 4 is also 0 so we will get our answer as 3 so this is the value of this polynomial at x is equals to 0 and in the second part of question first we are going to find the value of the polynomial at x is equal to minus 1 so i put minus 1 here and replace variable in complete polynomial with minus 1 so i solve this question 5 multiply with minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 square is plus 1 multiply with 4 is 4 so minus 4 here Plus three. Then I solve, and I will get my answer. It is minus six. So in the third part of the first question, we have to find the value of p two also. So I replace variable with two, and I will get my answer five. So now the second question is same as uh, question number first. In this question, we have to find the value of p zero, p one, p two. on the given following polynomials so we already solved two polynomials in your lecture so now i took one more polynomial from this question one more part px is equals to x minus 1 x plus 1 when i replace x with first part 0 then i got this answer when i will replace p1 it means variable with 1 i replace this is your answer and p2 replace variable with 2 this is your answer so it is very easy to find the value of a polynomial of a given value now third question is also very easy and important find the uh, zeros you know how we will find the zeros third question is verify that given zeros of the polynomial with them are zeros of their polynomial or not in the first in this question first part px is equals to 3x plus 1 it is a um, it is our polynomial and one thing is given that x is equals to minus 1 upon 3 we have to verify at this value this polynomial gives zero or not if this uh, polynomial gives zero then definitely this is the zero of this polynomial otherwise not so we replace uh, x with one minus 1 upon 3 then i will get my answer as zero yes it is the zero of the given polynomial in another part px is equals to lx plus m and the value of x is given minus m upon l so i replace variable with minus m upon l on both side of the polynomial here l is cancel with l minus m plus m then i will get zero yes it is also a zero of px in same question one more part px is equals to 3x square minus 1 and here we have two different values of x first of all i will take one from that and replace x with minus 1 upon root 3 here also and here also because of this square it become 1 upon 3 3 cancel with 3 and then 1 minus 1 become 0 yes minus 1 upon root 3 zeros of px in the another part i replace variable with 2 upon root 3 because of this square we have 4 upon 3 here 3 cancel with 3 and then 4 minus 1 is 
but root 2 upon root 3 is not a 0 of the given polynomial. Now, next fourth question of the um, exercise 2.2 is find the zeros of the polynomial. It is totally opposite to the question number 3. For finding the zeros of the polynomial, first of all, we have to take first part px equals to x plus 5. If we I am going to find zeros of the polynomial, then definitely according to the factor theorem, or remainder theorem we know it very well if any number is the zeros of the polynomial then definitely px is equal to 0 so we put px equal to 0 x plus 5 then i will shift this plus 5 to the other side of equal then it become minus 5 so minus 5 is 0 of this polynomial in the next part px is equals to 3x minus 2 put px is equals to 0 then x is 2 upon 3 so 2 upon 3 is the 0 of this polynomial in third part px is equals to 3x put px is equals to 0 here 3 is present in multiplication when we will shift to the other side it will present in division we know it very well then it become also 0 px is equals to cx plus d px is equals to 0 cx plus d is also equal to 0 then the value of x is minus d upon c now exercise 2.4 is complete and uh, in our second lecture we also discussed about remainder theorem and I took some examples also how we will follow remainder theorem with long division method now I will also explain some other two parts of exercise 2.4 question number first question number first of exercise 2.4 Part number 4 because first, second, third I already explained in your lecture part. Here we have a polynomial x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 and divided by x plus pi. So following remainder theorem first of all we want x cube by what number we should multiply this x to get x cube. So we have to multiply by x square. So multiply x square with x plus x cube with plus pi. It is pi x square plus pi x square. Remember one thing. We have to multiply this number with both terms. Not only single one term. So next step is sign change. Then it is plus. It is minus plus minus minus. Cancel. Plus minus minus. Then x square as common. Plus 3 minus pi will present in your bracket. And the remaining question. Now I want 3 minus pi x square. So definitely I have to multiply this x with 3 minus pi bracket into 1x. Then like this it become 3 plus 3 minus pi x square. And when we multiply this term with pi then it is plus pi 3 minus pi into x. Next step is sign change. It will cancel out plus minus minus then 3 is positive minus pi will be multiply with this bracket and become minus 3 pi minus minus plus pi square and x is present here and the remaining part of the question now we want this so we have to multiply x by this number or this bracket so i got this and when i will multiply this bracket with pi then i got this with the sign change it will cancel out now we have minus pi out of the bracket then bracket is also there minus pi multiply with 3 it is minus pi then plus 3 pi square then minus pi cube plus 1 now this is your remainder in the next part of the same question fifth part 2x plus pi is divide the same polynomial so first of all by what number we should multiply 2x to will get x cube is by a shortcut method 2x is multiply with which number to get x cube so we will shift this 2x to the other side it will be in division here x cancel with x cube because 3x uh, is present there and 1 will be cancelled then 2x is present then definitely x square by 2 is remainder we should multiply 2x with x square 
by 2 then we will get plus x cube when we will multiply this um, with 5 then plus 5 by 2 x square now next step is sign change again we took plus 3 minus 5 by 2 solve with the LCM and then the remaining question by what number we should multiply 2x to get 1 upon 2x square it is 1 upon 4x the same after sign change cancel remaining question and say so hope you get this concept and learn more questions thank you